half it like in. And hello, it's Fo, and welcome back to Turbine City. Last time we'd filled in a bunch of zoning to last us through the night. I'm just going to let that uh, come in, see how we get on. We're aiming to hopefully make it up to the 250,000 population mark at some point in the next couple of episodes. We'll see how far we can go today. Still got plenty of space to work with to get more zoning in. Just need to wait for the demand to get back up. We'll hopefully get some more farming in. Our academic year report is through. Well, we've gained a few students. 73 is not bad considering what we've been doing so far. If we can continue in that direction, hopefully we can get up to the next level. got plenty zoned in so just need to wait for our demand to get back up again and get some more farming in our princess district hopefully get our way somewhere towards that 5,000 squares required Can maybe get a few more small roads in as well to try and make better use of the space We'll start by creating a bit of a barrier and commercial along here to help separate out the areas. In this first little bit I think we're fine just to zone in as is. But these larger squares we probably want to break it up a little bit. as much in as we can but at the same time we don't need to completely grid it up I think maybe we can do some interesting shape in here maybe if we take like a, a parallel line then we join the road so we don't have so many junctions maybe bring the line across, we can maybe make sort of concentric boxes with a little more of a, an interesting yet still square shape. Bring this one down, make another little square here. If we extend out our DLC area, we can get a few more crop fields in, try and best feed all the animal pastures, keep everything balanced and working, try and get rid of a few of these icons, we'll just fit them in where we can, looks like we'll be getting rid of some of the zoning we've already put in for farming industrial but that's okay. If we sort of spread these out a little bit, we can fill in all the gaps with industrial that will all come through as farms. That will create that sort of random interspersed fields look that's uh, good for the farming area. And then having everything just right next to each other in squares comes through it'll look pretty good. Our traffic flow is down below 70% for the first time. Touch 69 there. It's a reminder to go and do the traffic lights and get them switched over at stop signs. I'll stop it getting down so low again. After 69 it's no more fun. We'll keep working on this area a little bit, finish off our zone in before we go across the highway. Now that we've reduced the size of our entertainment area, I think we're alright to get a little bit more residential in here and we can fill out the rest with commercial. I 
commercial down this road as well. Don't think the lungs of the city gives off noise pollution, but better safe than sorry. We'll get some commercial along next to the highway eventually as well. Yeah, traffic flows. It's going back up by itself anyway before we even sort out the extra traffic lights, but we'll get around to that in a minute. Try to get some more zoning in along this main road, as long as we leave gaps for the roads coming off. When we make it up to the quarter of a million population, we can buy the whole row of tiles, purchase them and extend the city out. We'll follow the same spacing away from the rail, as we did before. Now we can just get residential all the way down this road. That'll fit in a few more people. Give them an extra connection. Going underneath the highway. Where we're gonna connect up these two neighborhoods. Catch the power across, we'll get in a couple of buildings, a couple of larger things. I'll naturally carry the power across. Can maybe get a library in. For better coverage, maybe we want it right in the middle here. And I'll get something big on the other side. Hopefully that'll be enough to carry the power across. Maybe a hospital. Should do the job. Yeah, no bother. We haven't quite finished the pipes here, so get them done. We'll just wait for our demand to get back up. Then we can start zoning across the road. We'll rename this uh, to Manor Station first else to do while we're waiting for everyone to come in. Move these guys around a little bit. We'd like to get rid of all these icons of guys not working properly. It's obviously some magical arrangement where they all work but just gotta find it. In the meantime I'll fill in a few of the gaps more oil industry things. See if that helps. Can separate this area out a little bit more. And a few more services since we're gonna be adding more residential in. Population growth seems to be leveling off. Keep up the services to encourage growth. Keep everyone who's coming in happy. Keep the general approval rating high. We seem to have gone up to 21 six citizens, so I'm probably not happy about that. I'll we'll have to figure out where we're going wrong. Must have people too close to the industrial area perhaps, or too close to something noisy that is making them unhappy to the point it's stressing them to sickness. Terrible scenario. Use this plaza again. Time for our unique buildings. I don't know why the cinema is in the landmarks, especially when it's not even like a named cinema. It's not like a famous landmark cinema. Not that I could think of any. It's just like a building, so I don't know why it's not in the unique buildings rather than the landmarks, but hey ho. We'll get some more car parks in. We'll see where we can best fit them. We've got a few different sizes, so yeah, that's a 
spare fit. Up along this main road we can maybe get a, a few of the skinnier ones. And catch the power across, we'll maybe do some zone in. Don't have much of a demand yet, but we'll all come in soon enough. If the icons get red and they start really stressing out, I'm sure we can find more buildings to slot in the middle. Just got to be slightly wary of the noise coming from the cinema, because it is giving off noise pollution, so maybe trim this corner off. the radius, the noise. May as well fill in the rest of this in the commercial, I think. Maybe come a little bit further down here. Maybe not all the way. That should be enough. A bit more than covered. Maybe just fill in the rest of this square here to be going on with. We need to zone the whole thing yet. Wait until we get a little bit of demand. And also getting some small roads at some point. We'll make an area so we can have the self-sufficient houses and the organic and local produce commercial. That's another thing we need to keep up on in terms of the number of squares built. We get up to the 250k, then we can maybe go on another side mission to unlock some of the other things. Go on a sort of destructive mission. One of our later saves, so we can put down the seven multi platform train stations. That's something we couldn't manage last time because we hadn't reached uh, a point in the save that we went to that we could place those. So we'll maybe go to sort of the last milestone unlocked where we became a megalopolis and we'll wreck that one. So we'll name our new area Fergie Square. That's uh, Sarah's dog. It's a fantastic little pug, very charming. And we'll go around and get these lights off. See if we can get our average traffic flow back up to sort of 75 rather than 70. Certainly helped us so far. Having traffic lights on roundabouts is an absolute nightmare. There's a roundabout fairly near me, certainly, that's uh, got traffic lights on it. That's looks like a nightmare to drive through. I don't drive myself, but. Ah, uh, it looks like a nightmare. So guys are building in here. Getting a demand again for houses, so... We'll go for gold. Get some more in here. When we get a need up for commercial again, we can... Line the highway. Get most of our commercial along there, use up that space better. But the majority of this I think we can use for housing. We'll get some small roads in so we can break up the area a bit. It gives us opportunity to sort of fill in the inside of our squares with the low density housing as well. balance because people do generally want both types of housing when they ask for residential I like to get the high density stuff in first and then work my way down to getting the lower density stuff in so 
I'll get these guys all filled in. We can use the rest of the space for a commercial if we need it, wrapping around the industrial. Sort of filling in the little bits where we can. Get a little more touches of industrial in. Now that we've got our district set up, wherever we put in the industrial, it should come through as to what we want. So this should all come through as farming. Normally I wouldn't be so concerned, but because we have that uh, building to unlock by getting our 5,000 squares, try and get that sorted first. Might need to come back and change some of it to generic industry. Depends how our shops get on. I don't know if these organic and local produce commercial shops uh, benefit from having farms nearby. don't know if there's a relationship there in the mechanics of the game. We'll get a couple more parks in. Help keep people happy. Stop the pollution being so bad. We've lost a hundred people, that's terrible. We made one academic work. Oh. Never gonna level up like that. Oh well. We'll let these guys come in a bit. Getting that need for commercial. So we maybe get in some stuff along the main roads. Can extend this area a little bit. If we come all the way up here, so then if we do come up here with housing and commercial for that desperate for space, we'll we can get it all zoned in with that uh, alternative housing and alternative commercial. It's the Green City DLC stuff. So we'll try and satisfy this need for commercial along these two main roads. Help buffer the noise from the highway. Over here we've still got a bit of room that we haven't used. Maybe get commercial along here and then maybe more industrial up the back. We've still got space for more generic industry. We'll need to try and keep up with that so that our shops don't run out of goods. We might want to extend uh, the roads into here, make better use of this square, so we'll just have that for just now, see how we get on. It's looking good so far. Let them come in a bit more, see how they get on. Address the sickness level at some point. So there seem to be plateauing in terms of our population. Maybe give it some time. Leave them with the zone in they've got. Let the simulation run through the night and see what like. Hopefully they'll get over it. in a few more garbage services. This recycling plant helps with uh, providing raw materials, so get one of these in, and then we can get a few of the small incinerators in. Just dot them in a few places. Help with where we've put in all this uh, new housing and stuff. So we'll let them go throughout the night. See if they can fill up what they've got. We can check out a cool nighttime cinematic. Well, they're still coming through, slowly but surely. We'll leave them a bit longer. Maybe leave them until tomorrow. This is looking great. We just need to 
let it burn, settle itself out. And we're building a lot of new stuff. It used to be sort of rebalanced. It's paused on us, so we've got a notification. Oh, we've got nine people. That was well worth interrupting us for. Well, yeah, no news is good news. It's pretty much exactly the same. Maybe next year. Population seems to be going up, but it's not any different to where I left it, so it's obviously going up and down. Maybe add in a few more things for them. Maybe add in uh, a metro line. A few more services, things like that. That might help them out. Sorry, the appeal. Maybe put in a few more medical buildings. People are getting sick with the noise because they're too close to things. Could maybe use the noise guide to figure out exactly where. So that can give us a clue. In the meantime, we'll zone in some more commercial because we've got the need for it. And the demand is going back up slightly. Still got more than enough uh, residential zoned in, that's not completely filled out yet. So yeah, we'll pop in and give them some services. Take this commercial all the way up to here. I'll keep them more than satisfied for the meantime. So I'll see where I can pop in a few metro stations. And we'll set up a loop that connects all the way over to this line over here near the courthouse, it's also near that school. It's a pretty good location. It's about finding spots that have got good access to other things. Get it connected up to the main line pretty smooth. This way where we set up our lines we can have it so people can switch between different uh, lines at different stations. If there's crossover points, it's easy for people to get off and then get on the other train without having to leave and go across the road to another station or anything like that. Because we haven't got the budget up at 100% on the trains, we're not being swamped with metro trains, so we're doing fine. When I've had a look at the metro trains running, they just not seem congested, so so far so good. So we'll try and carry the power across with a few built-ins in here. Try and get that metro station up and running. Then we can set up our lines going clockwise and anti-clockwise. That seems to be making them visibly happier. As we pop down stops on the lines. Hopefully that translates into population growth. Some of our shops are complaining they don't have enough goods, so I'm gonna trim back the farming here. And I'm trying to go for 5,000 squares all in one space. There's plenty of room for us to hit that milestone further down the line. Got a bit of a disaster with sewage. We've fallen behind on getting in our outflow pipes, so we'll get in say three of each. Three outflow pipes and three pumps. Get them connected up. Get back out of the the danger zone. We're running out of time for today, so we'll come back next time and pick up where we left off. Try and make it to the quarter million mark. Until then, take it easy. If you're going out, stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one.